nice, lovely triangle. All right? And from the nice, lovely triangle, uh, what we need to do is determine the Pythagorean theorem. Or we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find our missing side. So the main important thing, again, we, if we want to think we're going to use Pythagorean theorem, we have to make sure that it is a, what type of triangle? Right triangle. We, can always, we have to make sure it has to be a right triangle. So we have to be able to see it's a right triangle um, by having this right angle facing here. I don't, don't like when you guys face turned around. Um, so, right, because I just wanted to see, yeah, right triangle, good, right? So now you can see, oh, oh well, that, that across my right triangle is my hypotenuse, which we call our C, and then we can call our two legs A and B. Now you don't have to call them A, B, and C, but a lot of us always remember A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So sometimes it's easier to say, hey, find the hypotenuse, label it C, and then label the other two legs A and B. But you can really label them anything else, like X and Y and so forth. So now, well, we don't know what A is, so we'll plug that in as X squared. B is 12 equals 13 squared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you are allowed to have a calculator um, in this classroom, but I would say you should know up to at least 15 the, your square numbers, or how to square each one of those numbers up to 15, all right? Because in this class, we will be going through a lot. Now, hopefully some of you have already seen that this is a Pythagorean triple, but I'll show you again why all this um, kind of works. So anyways, we just do x squared plus 144 equals 169, all right? It's not because I did the problem before, but I know all those numbers up to 15 squared. Now, this is an equation, so I solve for x squared. So therefore, x squared equals 25. Now, to undo the squaring of x, I need to take the square root. So therefore, x equals 5. And the reason, ladies and gentlemen, why we call this a Pythagorean triple is because all the side lengths of a triangle are integers. All right, and on your, in your notes from last class break, you guys will see that you had, um, we talked about, we wrote down these Pythagorean triples. So it's very important if you guys can remember what these Pythagorean triples are, that will help you um, do a lot of less work in this class as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, the way that the grading works in this class,